telling readiness. I thought perhaps you'd reached it. It's like reading readiness in a child. You've got a term. You've got a goddamn bloody term for everything! I'd like you to answer one question. Do you love me? <laughs> Did you ever love me? That's the same question. What's the opposite of love? Hate or indifference? Indifference is the death of love. and all of you were away at that medical convention in Detroit. Three years now. She was laughing away. The movement. And she laughed and laughed and... she said, go into the bedroom and lie down and she'd get it out. And it hurt. You know, it is when you get a really bad one in your eye. A cinder or a bit of dust. The way she touched me. It was a hot night and I... I wore a thin blouse and no bra. I was lying there, so grateful it was out of my eye. It must have flown in through the window as we drove back. I remember she said, some people are stage struck, some are clothes struck, and I'm sex struck. She was folding back my eyelid with a matchstick. We'd had dinner at the poor man's pub and then the movie. She went into the bathroom for the, for the eye drops and was lying there in the bed. I told her to stop. Chicken. She said I was chicken. Kept stroking my face. It, it, it seemed so natural, not at all ugly. And I was this crazy the little half slip she had on it. It had cherubs on it. That is funny. That, that is pretty funny. I wanted her to touch me. Just then. Just that then. Never after, even though she tried. Just, just once. Once only. Only that night. Came back without her dress. Cherubs with makeup on their faces, lipstick and rouge. I hated her. Hated her every minute since. She touched my shoulder with her tongue, lying next to me, remembering the movie and laughing about it. It touched me so gently along my leg. Kissed me. It was wonderful to me. It was wonderful. <laughs> somebody about that. It's a bad habit. Don't break it. <laughs> 